So we have a Mercedes here that says uh, stop and check brakes um, and that warning on the instrument cluster it beeps all the time and uh, th th there's a few Mercedes uh, between 2003 and 2006 uh, such as the E-Class and the uh, CLS class that have this a a SBC brake system so instead of a brake booster they have uh, basically uh, air compressed air that applies pressure through the brake pads um, and it's called Mercedes called SBC or brake control so we're gonna take a look at that control module we're gonna see what codes are present you can see the codes right here um, and you, you can see under store under voltage under voltage these codes can clear up but if you keep coming down here it says check component s9 slash one stop stop lap switch so uh, you can see that that brake light switch is a very likely cause that, that's causing that problem now it is stored because right now it's um, it's not detecting that issue but if you were to drive the car and then the uh, stop uh, stop lap switch or the brake switch which is um, mounted right above the uh, brake pedal uh, malfunctions then that changes from store to current and then throws that warning on the instrument cluster there um, now you know sometimes the problem could be that the SBC pump itself in the engine bay um, is faulty but you're gonna have a code in here uh, that that points you to, to that issue if that's what's going on with your vehicle and you can enter this control module and look at more live data uh, as soon as I connect to this control module, I enter it. Uh, the, it's gonna um, the instrument cluster is gonna start beeping. So uh, it's uh, hard to talk over that, but uh, you'll see we're gonna take a look at live data and a couple other things in there. So let's take a look. So you can see here. So now we hit clear. Now if that uh, brake switch keeps malfunctioning, then that error message is gonna come back up again and that brake switch needs to be replaced. But if the problem is something else, uh, such as the SBC pump, then that's gonna have to be replaced uh, in order to change, to fix the problem. Now under status here, pay attention. We basically wanna start addressing the codes that say current first. Um, and uh, if, if all you have is stored, you, you can clear them and you can come back in here and see which one comes right back. Or, you know, it might come back after you drive the vehicle uh, for a little bit. But right now, it was able to clear all the codes from that control module. So that's all. Thank you for watching. You can't you can be the mechanic.